In 1839, Selena Roman christened her home Bon Sejour, Pleasant Sojourn. But travelers and steamboat captains were so mesmerized by the mighty oaks that the name Oak Alley lives on, a lingering tribute to an unknown visionary. The Roman's upriver neighbor, Virginia-born John Hamden Randolph, had even more grandiose plans in mind. Dreaming of a palatial home to outshine all others, he called it Nottaway, but to most it was the White Castle of Louisiana. Designed by New Orleans architect Henry Howard with an Italianate facade, the numbers were staggering. Ten years in the making, 22 columns, 64 rooms, 53,000 square feet, 365 portals, an opening for each day of the year. Sparkling by day and by night, parties were orchestrated on a grand scale. At Christmas, even towering 15-foot trees could not outshine the gleaming grand ballroom Five of the seven Randolph daughters were married within its glowing all-white decor. In an era of conspicuous consumption, every detail was executed in lavish fashion. From the hand-painted Dresden doorknobs and peeping keyhole covers to the gilded silverware and fine French china, entertainment was a high priority. Appearances were paramount. A favorite pastime of plantation life was visiting. Nottaway's spacious rooms accommodated visits by entire families, lasting from a few weeks to a month or more. The 11 Randolph children, seven girls and four boys, were schooled at home. Oldest daughter Cornelia depicted life at Nottaway in her novel, The White Castle of Louisiana. Writing under the nom de plume M.R. Ailenrock, Cornelia spelled backwards. At the White Castle, there was a German master for music, a French master for the Terpsichorean art, and an English governess, all to broaden the views of children yet too young to leave the family circle. While the boys had their own wing, with their own servants, and were free to come and go at will, the girls were closely chaperoned, with bedrooms adjoining their parents. Cornelia's room has a novel touch a bed with a built-in rolling pin. The rolling pin was used to smooth out the mattress. When the job was finished, it was returned to its original position as part of the headboard. Sister Sally's room masks a sadder tale. Pining over the tragic death of her fiance, Sally etched their names in the window pane with her diamond engagement ring. The master bedroom guards its own secrets. It was the domain of Sugar Baron John Hamden and Emily Liddell Randolph, a woman who left nothing to chance. During the war between the states, as news of the advancing Union Army reached the Randolphs, Emily cleverly rushed to their prized rosewood teaster bed. Carefully removing the poles meant to hold the protective mosquito netting, Emily used this hidden space to hide her jewels from the invading Yankees. Nottaway was spared from destruction by the intervention of a former guest. Only a single grape shot was fired, lodging in one of the columns, and now holds an honored place in the study. Prior to the upheaval of the Civil War, the Randolph family spent their days savoring the grandeur of their palatial estate. Nottaway is John Randolph's dream come true, reigning today as the largest surviving plantation home in the South, overlooking the west bank of the Mississippi. A slow, sultry steamboat ride downriver from White Castle to Vachery marks the entry to an even more